Hey everybody, Zach here coming at you from the shop. Uh, I got a fun build video for everybody this week, but first, if you're new to my channel, you like this content, hit the subscribe button down there and hit that little bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. Alright, so this week we're building just three simple tripods. Now these are made out of stainless steel. They're going in a food production facility where they're meant to hold a food grade hose off the floor uh, where basically it just complies with FDA regulations. So what we're doing is I have cut, actually I cut these at the facility there so I didn't video it, but I've cut some two inch square box here with a 45 on either edge. Uh, we've got them chucked up here in the Kearney Tracker Mill. Uh, I've got my vise mounted at 45 degrees pair, or 45 degrees to the cutting or the cutter head. Uh, I've got a repeatable stop back here to where I can put every piece in here, run it back and forth on here, and put a very even notch right there uh, that will match up to the radius on my center pub here. So basically, you'll have one of these every 120 degrees around the outside of this. And then on the top here, we're going to go ahead and stick these back in the KT mill. I've got, I'm going to put a bigger face mill in there and we're going to go ahead and just notch these out uh, to the radius of about five inches, whatever I have that's close, uh, to be able to put a piece of uh, four inch uh, schedule 80 pipe. It'll just sit in the top there and create a saddle for the hose. That's kind of my rough plan. I've cut most of this out. I've got these guys cut out here. so. We'll go ahead and get the KT mill here set up for our uh, you know, center hub here and see how it goes. Alright, so a horizontal mill like this is not something that you use all the time, but when you do, it makes life a whole lot easier. It made short work of notching this pipe here. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go over to the bandsaw. We're going to cut some chunks out of some 4 inch uh, Schedule 40 pipe that are going to sit in this saddle here, and then we're going to cut them in half. So we just have half of it to where we have a half moon there that's going to hold uh, the hose that runs through there. wash this on here. We're not going to use any filler. We've got, I've got my Dynasty set at about 220 amps. We're set to pulse at about 0.8 pulses a second. It comes out real nice when you're doing stainless like that. You can minimize your heat input and it gives you a real nice ripple effect. So you just pulse, step, pulse, step, pulse, step just to the edge of the puddle there. It gives you a real nice looking weld and just makes it real easy and you can really motor out fast when you're doing that. I don't have the best torch angle here, but I'm trying to have you guys see what's going on. I'm just pulsing and after it pulses I'm stepping over to the edge of the puddle and that gives you a really nice looking bead appearance. Especially since this is not a structural thing it really doesn't matter how strong it is just looking as it doesn't pop off.
right, so I tried to show every step of building these guys here. I really hope you're able to get something out of this. If you're doing a single one of these, there's no reason you necessarily need to set up the milling machine there to notch the tubing here. You're perfectly okay to use a grinder for that and hand fit it. Just, I have three of them to do, so I just wanted to slam it out quickly. Uh, this top here, again, you know, no reason why you couldn't do that with a grinder. Uh, as far as welding it out goes, I just went ahead and used my Dynasty here, and I'm running about 250 amps pulsing about 0.8 pulses a second. Uh, now this would be a really good project for using the stainless steel dual shield that I got from HTP there. Uh, it's at my in my job box uh, at a job so that's why we didn't end up using it in this video but we'll do some more videos here coming up with that and also once I get that Pro Pulse 220 figured out as far as doing stainless steel welding with it we'll give it a go we'll do some videos with it but anyway I'll throw some pictures in here once I actually clean them up and get them installed where they're gonna go and thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please uh, like it give it a thumbs up and also hit that bell down there that lets you get notified when I have a new video coming out anyway I'm Darlington Farm. I'm the owner of Peacefield Welding. Check back on Wednesday for Shop Talk videos. Thank you for watching.